Welcome back to Final Fantasy VII. And one thing I forgot to mention at the end of the previous part is that off screen I grinded a bit in terms of level, mostly uh, material and equipment. Basically, I bought new equipment for everyone, including Cloud, a new sword for Cloud, basically. Ah. Uh, yeah. Uh, the only one who has no new equipment is Red 13, but and a lot of material has been upgraded at least to level 2, especially some of the magic. I got also some enemy skills, uh, not very useful for this moment, but trust me, later on in the game, we will, we will be basically game breaking. Charming. And I upgraded also some limits. So, uh, we are so pretty Cloud's going ahead to off to City Cloud. number 2. So, question, guys. Do you overall prefer. Oh, by the way, Jova, Jova, do you remember. Remember the King Throttle dance in Shovel Knight? Yes. Yeah, if you like that, prepare to get the equivalent here. I think Probably I remember Chocobo this. Really loves Chocobo. it. Hello, Chocobo. From, from what I hear, has a. <laughs> Aww. Yeah, I remember Chocobo this. Shake it. I, I sort of did spot the reference here when I first played this game, too. That's sweet. <laughs> yeah, it's not very long, and you, you'll see, it's like, it goes actually everywhere. But anyway, yeah, this is the Chocobo Farm. It's located a little bit outside of Calm, and it's actually really useful. Not It's not plot-related, but it's actually useful, and you'll see in a bit. Ah, yes, Chocobos. Well, and with that, we have our first summon of the game. Received Choco slash Mog Materia. Ah yes, Chocobo is yep, yep. one of the few things in each Final Fantasy game I play that seems to have a recurring theme of sorts. Yep. So let's equip. Although let yeah. me guess, they probably it, it, don't. It's an orange materia, so that means uh, it's a summon. It's, it's actually wind element, so it will be useful for those enemies weak to have wind that I mentioned before. Although let me guess, anyway. since it's the black sheep of the family, I'm guessing that they don't have their theme in Final Fantasy XIII. Uh, oh, you mean the they, Chocobo they theme? Have, the cho the Chocobo, the surprisingly, the Chocobo theme is in thirteen, but it's really? a shitty vocal version with J-pop. I thought that was Final Fantasy II, you said. Hey, at least it's Pedro, better than the metal Pedro. version. It's, it's oh. still better than the crazy Chocobo theme from 13-2. Oh, oh well, yeah. what's, what's 13 was it, in the, was it in Lightning Returns? I, 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 no, 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 the 13 one. I actually showed Shiroi that one. It's ba that basically was awful. It's basically a rock tune, Dwibs, where the guy is literally screaming. Yeah, so and, you want to ride this Chocobo? You want to ride and, this and Chocobo? Uh, oh, my God. Is it, is, and in the first part, it's that it's made uh, with the vocal. Vocals are made by the same guy who sung the lyrics uh, for the songs in Devil May Cry. Oh, was it, was, was, was Devil May Cry? Being... You mean the? Uh, you you mean? No, uh... no, not the new one. I mean Devil May Cry three and four. I think. What's the Chocobo really? theme in Lightning Returns? Uh, it was. It was actually pretty good in Lightning Returns. So that, well, in fact, that's one thing that I'll say that Lightning Returns has the best soundtrack of the trilogy. And, and yet, apparently, this, this a lot of old, other things are make it the worst. This just said to us that we need a chocobo in order to go forward because... Uh, but you've got uh, plenty of chocobos had, in, the, in the farm. The land mm. I had... Uh, hold on. The land I had is infested with uh, basically a giant 30-foot-tall uh, snake uh, <laughs> called the Midgard Zorm, which is a reference to the Midgard Zorm uh, from Norse mythology. This guy's like Veruca Salt. He can't have... He, he, he's so greedy, he wants every animal. <laughs> so he, he, asked, he asked for us, basically he just suggested us to buy a chocobo from one of his uh, uh, sons. So let's go mm -hmm. talk to him. Yeah, hey, you know, Pedro, it's funny. Hey, no, no oh. pointing, that's rude. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Pedro, it's funny. From what you've told me, Lightning Return seems to have the best music and the best gameplay, yet somehow it still manages to be the worst of the 13 trilogy. It's the story, Jova. You don't even know. So the Trust story's yeah. bad enough well, to somehow drag well, a game that has better gameplay and music well, down. Well, 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 yes. well, 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 there's well, also the thing, Jova. Yes. Well, when I say, well, Whoa. not exactly gameplay, because when I say, when I say that it has the best battle system, but that's it. It's the best battle system of the free. But everything else outside of the battle system is shit. And the music? Like, the exploration is shit. The areas you have to explore are shit. The side quests are shit. Everything is shit. Wow. Even some of the character models look like shit. So the stories yeah. of RPGs are very prominent. So if a story is shit, then the RPG is... Well, 
Oh, well, depends. well, that tends to depends vary because, like, you got stuff like depends Pokemon, which you know doesn't always fail because of a bad story, and then you got stuff like Kingdom Hearts, which actually does fall on its story because, well, well like, if it's not interested in the role, then I'm kind of like, eh, whatever. True. Yeah, I guess true. it tends to vary. I guess it tends to vary on some JRPGs. Like with a thing like Pokemon. Yeah. Well, I admit. Yeah. Yeah. It is important to have a story. However, people what about don't. What about, what about like Paper Mario or something? Well, that's different well, because, like, well, Paper that's Mario an actual. Actually, has a story that's at least for a Mario from game. From and then Stick a Star happened. Yeah. You're anyway, gonna keep bringing that actually, up hard too. Well, well, it's, well I, I like to mention Tales of Vesperia for the Xbox 360, which, uh, yeah, it, it has one of the most stupidly written stories I've ever seen. But uh, the gameplay is so fucking awesome. The, I mean, it's the Tales of about, about Battle System and shit, like, and the Great Explosion. And it, it was the last game in the series to have a classic style world map. So the gameplay is damn good. It's just that. The fucking story sucks. And also, there's Kingdom Hearts uh, Recoded. I mean, yeah, story-wise, that thing is repetitive, but even I have to admit that the gameplay does sort of make up for it. Yeah, that's a true, that's really a sad thing that I got from the Recoded becoming a movie also. I mean, I was expecting that, but goddamn, Recoded had the best gameplay variety in the series. <sighs> Anyway, uh, in the meantime, basically, this guy said that all the chocobos we saw outside are already rented, so basically we need it's one for ourselves. Billy. So, Tio, we, are we going to so do basically, So hold basically, on, hold on, we, guys, need hold to, on, hold on. we need to uh, buy a special material from him, uh, which costs 300 gills, by the way. Is Choco, uh, is Choco Billy Willy Wonka's cousin or something? <laughs> Yo, Choco Billy. <laughs> Basically, equipping that materia basically will allow us to encounter chocobos during random fact, encounters. What we need to do is to throw at the chocobo one of these greens and defeat the monsters near to him. In fact, so this is my this is my head cannon now. Since I don't know much about Final Fantasy, the chocobos are actually birds that give chocolate. I hence chocobo. It's, it's actually it's it's funny, Dwebs. They're named after a, a special type of chocolate uh, present in Japan. Reminds me, wasn't there a so Chocobo spin-off? Shoal... Oh god. Might as well just name one of their kids Chocobo at this rate. Choco <laughs> Joe or anyway, something. Anyway, what, what we are going to do now is what I did in my first run, because remember, in my first run I didn't understood English. Is that and what they... my father wasn't here to help me. So like a fucking idiot, I ran straight through for the serpent. Is that what... And you'll see what happens in a minute. Is that yeah. what, um, is that what the cigarettes are called there? Choco Joes or something? <laughs> <laughs> Hello there, beauty. Hey, would you like to smoke a Choco Joe with me, man? <laughs> so I'm now I'm imagining that snake having a Jamaican accent and offering us drugs. Dandy. <laughs> no, what are you doing? You're going to die. Well, let's actually uh, see. Okay, Teo, Teo, I, Teo, I have only one thing to say to you. What? Your hiss. <laughs> and by the way, Shiroi, that's a, that's a reference to the King's Quest, which is the game we're doing when, when it's a Sausage uh, Fest here. Yeah, we know, we know. <laughs> anyway, no, no, I'm yeah, just saying Shiroi because she, I'm just saying because Shiroi doesn't know. Ah, sure. Anyway, um, Cloud was snaking in his boots. <laughs> hey, you better not have snaked it. Are you selling me snake oil sentence. here? I don't trust anyone with a tail that bad. <laughs> okay, anyway, uh, I'll, it, it will not go very long, so don't worry. This boss, basically, uh, it has <laughs> a very easy high. Time, uh, oh. The problem is, for, for this moment of the game, he is very overpowered, so you have no chance, basically, against him. Am I the only one who noticed the move Lunatic High? That sadly goes in context with the joke we were making about the snake selling us drugs. He was a lunatic going right for the snake. Uh, lunatic High is one power. of the limit breaks uh, of Red 13. Basically, oh, I has Ace. Uh, on aced on all allies, basically. Well, I know that's one of his limit breaks. I played the game. I was just saying that sadly goes in context with the idea of the snake Ouch. being uh, someone trying to sell that, us some drugs and get us dirt. high. Oh. And Cloud's dead. Yep. And Take it yeah. out by a Jamaican <laughs> snake. Like, no, do not hurt my beloved so Cloud. Let's just let's kicks the snake. Has, uh, our... Hold on. Actually, the, actually, I'm pretty sure she would do that. Cloud. The... You killed my cloud, you let's, piece let's of shit! Let's actually pass no. our new summon and see what it does. Yeah, I actually love the summon. <laughs> Chocobo! Boom! Boom. 
and it did nothing, I take it. Well, oh, well, yeah, and that does something. Yes. Oh, you'll There's see. There's also a chance that it can call Fat Chocobo that literally stomps uh, on enemy, on the enemies. Yeah. It's actually hilarious. Oh, Cloud, you're alive, thank God. Ah. Uh, yeah, I'm re it's, a, it's a great reference to um, the classic games. Anyway, yeah, one of his attacks of his snakes at this point is that it will throw away one of your party members. And Tifa, I mean, no! <laughs> but actually, actually it's a good thing because if you go um, KO at this point, uh, uh, you'll be yes, enough, um, get the game over. Uh, unfortunately, um, Tifa was costing too much for us. Um, Not and now, lady! I have a snake uh, to fight! Her you clothes can't kill me off for no reason. Her clothes kept ripping off because her tits are so big, so we had to write her off. Holy we shit! Layton! Out! T-shirts. Layton! We'll let you out! Francisco, uh, you get back to work! Um, actually Francisco got lazy. So yeah, lesson learned. Don't, don't fuck with snakes. <laughs> <sighs> okay, okay Tifa, you can come back already. Just shut up! Now you know why uh, Indiana Jones hates snakes. Yep. I haven't said anything. Well, granted, then again, I've already, I've hated snakes since I was a kid because I actually and yes, played. Because I went KO, I actually because didn't what? learn the skill that uh, the Midgar Zolom used. Anyway, let's what was that, Pedro? You were giving us some Zolom. wonderful I'm backstory. I'm actually really lucky in this time because I got it one on the on literally on the first try. It's not easy. Trust nice. me. Nice. <laughs> anyway, Pedro, you're giving us some backstory there. Uh, yeah. Uh, I've been hating um, snakes since I was a kid because uh, when I was a kid, I actually managed to get to the snake level in Battle Toad, and that level drove me fucking nuts. Oh boy! <laughs> I uh, I held a snake on my shoulder once. Oh, uh, how was it? Uh, <laughs> was it nice? It was all right. It was pretty quiet. <laughs> mm. I've um I've got a snake. No way, that's not appropriate. Wait, you have a snake? Notice also how the, how the battle music changed. I, I'm actually super oh, I lucky the because I got. Wait, you're fighting the chocobos? Yep, and you can actually uh, hurt him in order to learn a particular skill, which I didn't do in this Basi part. Basically, Dwibs, in these instances, you can tame a chocobo so you can ride it. Yeah, you can tame a to chocobo by cutting their heads off. Okay, yeah. chocobo like just. In Pokemon, you beat them up to be friends with them. Or no, no, you just in this case you just need to defeat uh, the nearby enemies. Pete, I'm surprised. Pete there you go. I'm surprised Peter didn't I call a shitstorm with this game. All right, we got ourselves a chocobo. <laughs> it's because Final Fantasy VII. When it comes to chocobos, Final Fantasy VII is the best game in the series. Because oh god, so I love what they do with chocobos nah, in nah, Final Fantasy VII. I actually, I actually prefer nine. What I was saying. The end, I was saying I'm, I'm surprised. I'm really? Surprised yeah. Don't get me wrong. I like hunting for treasure, but uh, the, the, the whole racing and the whole breeding is, has so much more depth to it. Well, guys, I'm surprised. Uh, I was, I was really annoyed by. Yes, hey, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm surprised. I'm surprised Peter didn't throw a hissy fit when this game. Oh, came don't out. worry, don't worry. But if not for the chocobos, they would have. For what it's coming up, don't yeah. worry. Okay, because apparently there wasn't just one Midgard Zolom. Oh yeah. <laughs> and apparently <laughs> our, our friendly neighbor would Sephiroth meet the other one. Oh. <laughs> Did Sephiroth do this? Did he, he rid the land of a? No. Did he at, rid the at land of a? To me, this back in the day when I was a kid, this was a powerful moment because the character said Sephiroth did this, and I said, "Oh my God, I have to face the guy that did this." <laughs> I'm my anus is not ready. So <laughs> um, so ha so wait, this this came out the same year the Harry Potter book started. Maybe this inspired J.K. Rowling with the Basilisk. Maybe. <laughs> Does J.K. Rowling play Final Fantasy? <laughs> I don't know. I actually know to mention that. I think there may have been an interview where she mentioned playing Final Fantasy. Anyway, it just sparked my memory. And now I let's couldn't go remember again. where it would actually Some exactly reason. be. I that, should that's, that's try and Okay. Anyway, mm -hmm. yeah, that, you can that, all go over that, that, for that, now because that, that, this is only a no, sorry, that's the wrong thing. Okay. Just, Step uh, carefully and oh, dang it! A transition moment, basically. These are the Mithril mines, basically. It's a small area, I just collecting a few items and trying to learn a skill with with very bad success, basically. Yeah. Level 4. So, why would you want to cast suicide? <laughs> uh, I love it! Yeah, 
No, no, because it casts to the enemy. But it function uh, level based spells are basically they act only on uh, enemies with that particular level. And the effect of level four suicide is that uh, basically uh, it reduces it reduces HP to one, basically. Yeah. I don't know Why would you want to do that? I wouldn't. Because it casts on the enemies, not on me. Anyway. I thought, I thought there was going to be like a trade-off where you can cast it on the enemy, it's very powerful, but you end no, up taking a huge uh, chunk of your health out in the process. Trust me, Dweebs, the, the enemy skills in this game, which are basically the equivalent of the blue magic of the entire franchise, is are overpower, can be overpowered as fuck, like, literally. Yeah. There is one... Still bit. not as overpowered as the summons, though. <laughs> Uh, you... Well, I, I don't know. I mean, uh, the summons don't do the same effect of, uh, white... Sure. Um, let's not forget that, but yeah, but let's not forget, nothing is as broken as... Not game breaking as Nats of the Round. These... Yeah, those, those stars... It's, it's uh, well hidden in the post game. Those star ratings, are they for... Those star ratings, are they for, like, terrible films or something? They got one star out... No, well, no, that, that thing indicates four. the level of the materia. Basically, whenever you finish about, you get AP, ability points, and every ability point, basically it's the experience with the materia. And the materia can also level up like our characters. The higher the level, the stronger the materia becomes. Like, for example, um... Just to give magic, it, I, magic materia can basically, when it goes up uh, on level, basically it makes you use more powerful spells. A summon material makes you use the same sum more, more, than, more than once, basically, and goes and, and so on. And like another example is the cover material, which Cloud is using right now. The more it, it goes up on level, the more uh, the probability of, of the wielder to cover up an ally uh, goes up as well, basically. Yeah. Received so ever. On. Each material, each each material has its own. Hey guys, I found a tent in this treasure box. Cloud, we're not doing that tonight! <laughs> what do you mean, Aerith? I was trying to be Tifa, sorry. Isn't Joy Tifa? Um, oh. well, Tifa's not speaking in the dialogue um, at the Aerith moment. Is, Aerith is trying to pretend to be me. Aerith, come on! Come on, it's easy! I just need a wig and get bigger boobs and then that's it, I'm done! <laughs> oh boy. Go on TV and art, maybe then you'll get some help. No! <laughs> <laughs> I will not go there! Oh, why not? It's fun! Alright, I'll be right back, guys. Yep. Sure. Tifa, have you seen the yaoi images? Oh boy. I am not that way. No! <laughs> uh, how do we even have internet in this world? And what is internet? Well, we are technically in the future, girls. But uh, we haven't seen any computers here. Well, we're actually using cell phones, so... Yeah, we use cell yeah, phones! We have something. I'm trying to check out the soccer scores, but nothing's happening! Oh boy, I remember how in Advent, Ch Advent Children basically is a giant commercial for Motorola. <laughs> <laughs> Motorola Final Fantasy... That should, be the that should be the name of the next Final Fantasy VII spin-off game, Motorola. I haven't heard that in ages. Um... Yeah, are, are they even making anyway. friends anymore? I don't think Just so. Just a second. Oh, who's gonna be Reno while Pedro's god? Uh, there's no Reno in this, in this uh, part. Oh, that's it. right. Never mind, never mind. Reno doesn't show up in this one. I hope I never see you again. You know who I am. I'm Say the Juggernaut, bitch. I'm From the Turks, right? Bitch. Well, if you know, then this won't take long. It's yes. difficult to explain what the Turks do. Kidnapping, right? So cliche. To put it negatively, you could say that. But that's not all there is to it anymore. Thank it God I quit working at from that Pegasus guy. And Shiroi, that's you coming up. Oh, okay. Oh boy. It's alright. Wait. It's alright, yeah. Rude. I know you don't like. All right, I'm back. Sorry. And Elena, explain. And Elena, mm. explain. I'm the newest member of the Turks, Elena. Thanks to what you did to Reno, we're short of people. You could say we messed yeah, him up pretty bad. 
Although, you because of that, I got promoted to the tents. So you know yeah, that. you may have banged up one of my members, but thanks to that, I got a promotion. In any case, our job is to find out where Sephiroth is that... Mm. ...and try to stop you every step of the way. What if he was right next to them or something? Wait a minute. It's the other way around. You're the ones that are getting in our way. Yeah, Alien is kind of... Hey, Luna, you talk too much. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Mr. Sa- Oh, my bad. Mr. Sang. No need to tell them about our orders. No, 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 what are you talking? Sorry, Sang. I thought they gave, gave you other shoot. orders. <laughs> now go, don't forget to file your report. These turks are the example of best communication oh, right. now, aren't oh, they? Oh, and the suit cloud on your way out. Very well. Rude and I will go after Sephiroth, who's heading... Elena, you don't seem to understand. You, you just spoiled the plot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Now back to no, the fat don't forms let Sephiroth you. get away. Back to the you. Yes, sir! Yes, sir. You're Please the... understand. Please understand. So You're yeah, both please ign- You're both devoted, now get out of my sight. Reno said he wanted to see you at the- after the injuries he gave him healed. He wants to show his affection for you all with a new weapon. Yeah, actually it's oh, a lie, because lovely. the next time we meet him, he will not use the same weapon. Well, at least that <laughs> line actually- that. Well, at least that line actually worked, unlike uh, Cypher's line where he says he wants to show us his romantic dream. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> Aerith the isn't fuck? with us. She's with don't, the don't, others. Don't, 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 don't bother Shiro. Right? Final Fantasy VIII is fucking stupidly written. <laughs> it's going to be able plot the big bastard. You, you know what, Pedro, so, play? No, no, don't worry, Dweebs. If Aerith was in the party during that conversation, uh, the dialogue would have changed very much because he would have just basically gave her his regards anyway. You, you know, it's after that fucking party I was at. You know the sad thing, Pedro? I played more of Final Fantasy VIII now, and at first I was sort of dreading being the one. To, it's pretty much probably going to be me who has to play um, uh, Squall, yeah. And like, well, it's probably going to be me who has to play Squall. At first I was sad about that, but now actually seeing more of the characters about that, I'm actually kind of thankful it, I'm playing Squall instead of his, uh, his... Friends. Well, I'm not quite sure I can call that one guy. But, 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 but basically, basically, Dribs, just to give you an idea, the dumbest brick snow is kind of a spiritual successor to Zell. Yep. And then there's Sophie, who's insane. Selfie. I mean, <laughs> Selfie. No, no, no. So, I'm. So, when we get to 9, I'll be playing a much better protagonist. Actually, actually when, I, when we get to 8, uh, Dwip should be Selfie. I can totally see his era of oh, voice. Come on. Uh, oh, come on. Oh, really? No, 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 no. Wouldn't it be better your, to... your Aerith voice is perfect for for selfie. But we gotta give. Oh wait, never mind. We have the love interest for Shiroi to voice, I guess. And besides, I'm um, I'm playing a much better protagonist in nine. So yeah. Oh, I... Anyway, basically well, now we're out of mine. You, Joba, so... oh, Joba, boo you've been you you've, 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 you've been the protagonist in two of these Final Fantasy games. So what well, else is better? Well, Dwebs, I'll trade. Uh, Dwebs, I'll anyway, give you a squall. That, that's all for part seventeen. Ow. See you for the next one. See ya. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so wait a minute, Dwebs. I take it you're going to be Garnet. No, I'm Zidane. Oh, I wanted to be Zidane. All oh, right. Uh, she, uh, well, Shiroi, uh, guess what? In Final Fantasy IX, I'll have both uh, 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 I think, uh, a great princess, uh, strong female character to voice, and a badass female chick who can kill a hundred men with, uh, in a battle single-handedly. Fantastic. Mm. I'm not even kidding. That's actually a thing, as Taylor will confirm. So, so I take that Dweebs will be Aiko? Yeah, uh, maybe. Nine. No, 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 I'll be Aiko for the sake of sparing poor Dweebsy. <laughs> Tell you what... <laughs> Uh, and I, oh, by the way, I'm taking. I'm basically. Uh, <laughs> I want to be Amaranth, by the way. Oh, definitely. Yes, sure. that's right. You can definitely be Amaranth. Actually, Dwebs, um, I was thinking about having you be the protagonist of Twelve Revenant Wings, four and six. Well, oh, maybe not. We already, but didn't we already decide I was going to be the one from now? Well, you... we didn't necessarily make that solid, and I was kind of thinking about maybe Anyways, using some of the other protagonists. Uh, yeah, I, I Anywho, maybe go. we should end this part. See you next week. See yeah, you, folks.